Okay, um, so what we, what I'm going to look at for the next couple of videos is some explanation of some of the pseudocode that we've used this year and been through already. Um, but just to try and bring it together, put it in context, give you some examples, um, as so it's all in one place. So we've got these concepts, sequence, selection, iteration. Um, and there's usually a question asking you to explain. So you, you can probably use most of these, also being able to explain them and perhaps give an example as well. So the first one is sequence. So um, the word sequence we use quite quite often. And um, so sequence steps to solve the problem. Um, also in the correct order. Okay, so um, one little example could be uh, you could have you could output two words, output um, hello on one line, and then underneath output are you. So it would read hello. Um, output on the second line, sorry, how are you? So the f so if you run them both together, it would say um, hello, how are you? And if they were in the wrong order, it would say how are you? Hello. Um, another example could be. A. Now, don't forget when we when we when we want to say something's equal to something, we use the arrow. So A is equal to ten. B is equal to four, and C is equal to A plus B. Now, if these weren't in the correct order here, this program wouldn't run. So, for example, if C was if this line was first, you try and add A and B together but they wouldn't already exist in the program. So we have to create A and B first. It wouldn't matter too much if these were swapped around, that wouldn't affect the sequence. Okay, so we've got some steps to solve a problem. They're in the correct order, and that would explain sequence. Okay, thank you very much.